Guys over at Team Resurgent have been hard at work this last month releasing some awesome new updates for Repackinator. The last time I discussed it, we were on version 1.1.8 and we're clear up to 1.2.7 today. In that time, they've released two things that I really want to talk about because, in my opinion, they're really big deals. The first being the alt repack list.json. This is the list that everyone's been asking for. It has everything from every region, every title, every demo, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. I saw a few demos in here. I don't know if they're all there, but there's at least some demos in here as well. Um, it, it should be everything that one would need to either be able to manually update the existing repack list or if you want to just live dangerously, I guess technically you could make this the main list and just see what happens. Uh, don't blame me if you break it. <laughs> However, all the information one needs to update the main repack list for whatever games they want should now be there. Uh, takes an extra step or two, but hopefully everyone gets what they need. The next thing I wanted to discuss was the new context menu. This thing is awesome in my opinion. After running Repackinator for the first time as administrator, you get quite a few new sweet options for any kind of supported file type. So say you got an ISO or a CCI that you're trying to get some hash information on or alternatively pull the files out of to create similar to a HDD ready dump minus the ACL patches, Repackinator will do it all right there in the right click menu. You don't even need to open the interface. Um, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I kind of wanted to go over what is needed in order to successfully get Repackinator to run and produce either you know a split ISO, a CCI, whatever you're, you're looking for. Um, the biggest thing is you need to start with an actual verified ISO file. So if you have an HDD ready game currently, you can't kind of stick that back into an ISO and run it. It's got to have the original sector information and all that in order to work properly in Repackinator. Um, so if you're lucky enough to have you know, the appropriate DVD drive in order to be able to just do a DD dump of your games, then kudos and you're, you're ready. Uh, if you don't have that, I kind of wanted to go over a way I've found where you can get your discs ripped into a Packinator from your Xbox. That way you can compress them, run them to XISO, whatever you see fit. So let's go ahead and hop over the Xbox, shall we? All right, so we are here in XBMC for Gamers, latest build. Go ahead and put your disc in the console. And hypothetically, I guess we don't need to wait for it to load, but I've gone this far. Might as well see it through. There we go. All right, so I've got Forza Motorsports in there. I feel like most people are going to be familiar with ripping games using DVD to Xbox. So once you get to here, there's a couple of changes you need to make. First thing first, you want to switch to ISO mode, hitting Y. And it'll say ISO Ripper in the copy mode down there at the bottom. So I am going to just pick my G directory, but you can pick any directory that you store games in. Works just fine. Go ahead and let it do its thing. So, it's that easy, at least on the console side. Um, now, what I personally do is I rip two copies of each disk. That way I can cryptographically compare the first rip to the second rip and verify that my ISO is good, the laser on the, the Xbox read it all good, like no problems anywhere. It, it matches one to the other. Um, so with that being said, this is going to take a few minutes. 
I am going to cut the video here and let this run through its, its collection. We'll come back when it's done. All right, so we went ahead and dumped Forza three separate times, just so that if for whatever reason we've got an issue with one, we're good. So what that's going to look like is it essentially just creates the same directory over and over again, and it appends it with whichever number duplicate it is. So here's copy one, copy two. As you can see, they should all be the exact same size, and assuming everything worked correctly, they should all match. So we're going to go ahead and get these copied off the Xbox over to our computer. That way we can start working on them with our Backinator. All right. So I got two out of the three dumps that I made transferred over to my computer. The reason why I moved two dumps over and not all three is technically I only make the third in case I find there to be an issue with these two. I would prefer to not have to go back and rip a new copy at that point, but that's a personal preference. Hypothetically speaking, if you want to live dangerously, you don't have to test against anything. You can rip once and hope for the best. I don't recommend it, but nothing's stopping you. So me personally, what I like to do is using 7-zip or any other hashing program that will run a quick hash on more than one file, I will hash the multi-part ISO file beforehand to make sure that all my data that I pulled from my disk matches from my first to my second dump. If for any reason our hashes don't match, from our first to our second dump, that would be indicative of a bad dump. It could be from a bad laser, it could be from a, a failing disk, uh, it could be from a, quite a few things, but no matter what, we need these data checksums to match. And they appear to match. So step one is good. Let's go ahead and move on. So. First things first, once we've verified that our dump is good, we technically don't need the second file, so it's a waste of space. Let's get rid of it. Next thing we need to do is combine these into a single ISO to be able to feed into our Packinator. So we want to copy the file path and open it in command prompt. So we're going to change directory into where we know our ISOs are. We're going to verify that the ISOs are here by running a quick directory command. Now, using copy B, just tab through until we find our two files. So you can see here we've got Forza part 00, Forza part 01. And now we are going to combine them into Forza Motorsports. And remember to give it a file extension, and you're good to go. I wanted to touch on this real fast before I moved on. What we've done through these steps to this point is we have rebuilt the entirety of the Xbox game partition from the original disc that we had put in our Xbox. This is not the same as a true redump style image. A true redump style image is going to dump the video partition as well, so it will always be larger. This file over here is a true redump style extraction from a modified Xbox 360 disk drive. It has the video partition. It will play as a DVD. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can just mount it and it'll play. So here's the, you need to mount this in an Xbox. The disk we've created doesn't have that. So, while everything beyond this partition should match identically, assuming you followed all the right steps and your disk and laser is in good shape, it is still not a redump. So, 
Now that we've got our multi-part ISO combined into a single ISO, let's go ahead and fire up our Packinator. Now, all I'm going to do for my first run through is I'm going to verify that I've selected all in my process list, make sure that my input folder is pointing to the appropriate place, and I'm going to tell it to process. Now, all this is going to do is it's going to take this ISO, it's going to remove any unnecessary padding in it, replacing it with zeros, so that it makes it very compressible, and then it's going to split that back in half again, so that we can put that complete ISO onto the Xbox hard drive if wanted. We're just going to use it to verify a, a checksum real fast for this purpose, but either way, it's there. So now, once that's done, you have to navigate to the output, see Repackinator output, and you'll see that here's our new split ISO with zeroed out padding. I'm going to rename this folder to ISO so that our second run doesn't override it. We're going to come back over here and Repackinator. One thing before I just hit select all again, I wanted to show you that it does in fact unselect the process tab after it's ran the title. So assuming that you've ran it once and you want to run it again, you have to reselect process. You can either do it title to title. Uh, you can also search. So you can just search Forza since that's all we're running. Um, alternatively, you can just select all if you trying to run everything. But this time through, make sure we select the CCI compression tab and process again. Once this completes, we will go ahead and compare the hashed output of the decompressed CCI to the first scrub we made to verify that the process isn't changing anything. Then we'll send this over to the Xbox, verify everything works the way we expect. Cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at our output folder. We'll see that we've got a new GLO which just stands for global, with a fancy new CCI here. So, there's two ways that we can check this quickly. We can either decompress the CCI using the context menu, back to ISO, and that checksum should match the one we get from this. All right. So, just a quick check. 256. We should have identical hashes across these two disks. And we do. All right, so we have effectively gone from our physical media to Repackinator, ran it to a compressed ISO, and are now ready to send it back to our Xbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back over there. We're gonna verify this thing boots. We can call this one a day. I've got the CCI file transferred over to my Xbox now. So, as you can see, the outright size is about 6.5 gigs. That exact same image, as we've already verified, is compressed down to 3 gigs. Let's make sure it runs. Oh, that's weird. So my capture card isn't quite getting the right picture with that. I don't know. I might be due for a new one.
Yeah, see, that looks fine on my screen, but capture card's got it shifted off to the left. This looks fine now. Yeah, I think I need a new card. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we can load in real fast. Don't have any issues with that. But I'm gonna have to say that we're good. Looks good. Load time seems solid. Went from our ISO on physical media to a CCI and are now successfully in game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call this a success. Awesome guys over at Team Resurgent, in my opinion, have released one of the best ISO managers for the original Xbox ever. It's really hard to beat something as versatile as the tool that they have released. They're doing more work on this project, and they have more projects to come. If you found any value from their work, I highly suggest you stop by their Patreon and show them some love. It's all going to go back into the sweet, free projects they're releasing for the Xbox. I personally will have a couple of follow-up videos here soon comparing file types and some more cool features that I've found in Repackinator. Uh, until then, take care.